Kerry Hatsianestis from Century 21 Elite is our guest today in, um, in our Rockin' Rockstars. Uh, Kerry's been a real estate principal in the St George area of Sydney since 1990. He's almost as old as me. Uh, he's, a bit of a, he's a bit of an all-rounder. Uh, he's involved in sales, in property management and in administration. G'day Kerry, I, did, I, I didn't mean to insult you there, my friend. I think you're actually much younger than me, but anyway. So. No, that's okay. Yeah, it's all, next year will be 30 years, so just, um, yeah, time has flown. So. Yeah. yeah, you've seen a lot of changes in that time too. Matt, I, I want to ask you uh, about your business uh, and the area that you work in. Tell us a little bit about Century 21 and also the area that you work in. Yeah, we've... Um, we, we changed to Century 21 um, about um, a year and a half ago. We used to be with a hooker brand, um, which was also very good. But uh, Cobra here is about uh, 14 k's from the Sydney CBD. Uh, we're very close to the to the airport. It's the home of the, I don't know if you know, the St. George Illawarra Dragons in the NRL. And also Sydney FC plays here in the A-League. But uh, the demographics here is about... 30% of the population are born here. So we have a large migrant um, population. Mm. And in saying that 50% is probably in um, investment properties. And in the last three, four years, the council has really um, approved a lot of new developments. So we're seeing a lot of new high rises popping up everywhere. And uh, the next couple of years, I think we've got another couple of thousand due. That's incredible. It's predominantly a unit area, isn't it? I mean, predominantly units. In yeah, area. yeah. With a lot of the most of our investment properties are, are units. Yeah, and, and um, there's there's more going on, you know. Yeah, and that's reflected, I guess, in the fact that fifty percent of your stock is investor stock as well. Um, yeah, that that probably brings about a few challenges for it. At the opening, uh, Kerry, I said that you were a bit of an all-rounder. You're involved in sales, property management, and administration. Tell me how you divide your day. Well, first thing is, you know, drop off the kids to school. So um, my day is sort of, you know, dropping off kids and picking up kids. So um, look, I do I do mainly the trust accounting for the office. So I do all the receding, the bank rec in the mornings. Um, I I do. The commercial rent roll so all the commercial properties i look after them myself and you know we help out my brother does sales in the sales department so i help out with sales a little bit if i can but you know nothing is nothing is set in stone every day is different mm. you know um so I, I just do a little bit of everything yeah fair enough can we just talk about the last 12 months you mentioned there that you changed brands in the last 18 months the last 12 months 2019 how's that been for the business uh and and how's the growth been for you look we um we had a, a bit of growth with, with with c21 they're an international brand so um i, I didn't believe it but I, I had a lot of my asian clients particularly chinese clients said oh i've got a century 21 office in in our area you know so that's helped us um, a little bit there, but obviously a lot of new stock has hit the market, so we've been able to pick up pick up that. And you know, again, it's been a challenge because there has been too much stock. But again, if you do if you do your job well, provide good service, um, you know, it'll always grow. Yeah, would it be fair to say that given fifty percent of your portfolio is investor stock that? A lot of your communication is either online. You're obviously dealing with, uh, you know, remote owners. Is that a fair comment? It is. Yeah, we, we you know, we have a lady in uh, just dealing with her the other day from Singapore, you know, and uh, she loves, you know, the fact that we can just go on our property tree portal there and and communicate, and and anybody in the office can see can see that communication as well. So, but uh, yeah, look, technology, as you know, is has in, has made us talk to people anywhere in the world so yeah, it's right. so easy yeah. yeah i do want to talk to you about technology in a moment before i do let's talk about the next 12 months um you know as we head into 2020 it was as at the time we're talking to you now uh it probably will be 2020 by the time we get this to air but um what, what do you see is ahead for 2020 for your business and how are you going to be growing the business look i think again um if, if you provide good service the the new business will come um, with all this technology we've got, 
our, our PMs now have got more time. Uh, we, we, we might even look at, you know, hiring maybe a, a part-time BDM to help us because, you know, honestly, this, the technology these days has freed up a lot of this time for us. So we're looking at, uh, you know, maybe getting a BDM, but our property managers, they're very experienced. My staff have been here all over 10 years. So our landlords know us. They've known us for so long. They're giving us new business. Um, you know, we've had landlords that started with one property. Now they've got two or three. And we've got landlords that have bought in other areas outside of our St. George area that still want us to manage their properties. So, you know, look, if, if you're happy, if your staff's happy, I think, uh, and they're doing a good job, it'll just grow. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? I mean, you, um, the, the growth in your business in the next 12 months, is it helping your existing investors grow their portfolio? Is that what I'm hearing from you? Do you do a lot of that kind of work? Well, we do. We used to do a lot of uh, syndication. We used to have a lot of clients that we used to put them together and um, buy investment properties. And, you know, we had one group from 20 years ago that started. Now they've got, you know, a dozen properties with us. So... It's, um, look, I mean, the interest rates are so low these days that, you know, if, you, if you've got a good job and you can get a good loan, you know, everyone's buying property. So mm. it's a matter of renting it out for them, providing a good service, good rate of return, and, you know, things will happen from there. Yeah, you mentioned that your property managers have been with you for some time, you know, as long as a, a decade or so. Um, how are they? They've obviously got a good relationship with with their with their um, landlords. Uh, how do you do? You experience any pressure on fees at all? And if so, how do you handle that? With fees, um, I mean, when we go see landlords and we say to them, "Look, you know, I've got thirty years experience, and my property manager's got fifteen years experience, and the service that we're going to provide for you, you know, warrants that those fees." Um, we now sort of charge one one flat fee for everybody. So we say to them that, you know, we charge the same fee to all our landlords. We're not charging lower, higher. We don't like to negotiate on fees. Uh, we believe that our service uh, is superior and also our, um, you know, we're, we're just more experienced in negotiating for them. We're, you know, we know what to, we've been doing it for so long that, you know, we, we know what we're doing. So, you know, I, I just, again, it's about selling yourself you know, we're, we're educated, all the girls here are up to date and all the new legislation that's happening. And again, just about service, just yeah. service, that's all it yeah, is. Yeah, it's obviously, you know, I'm talking to someone who's got a very mature business and you can tell that the answer to some, some of these questions, your answers. Can, can we talk about technology for a moment? Because that's a, that's a whole new world for, for someone like you and I. Uh, is technology playing much of a part in your business? It's revolutionized it. You know, we went to Property Tree, um, we were with rest for so long and then my staff are um, all female so they're um, you know they're mothers uh, we've got one on maternity leave at the moment so we switched to property tree about 10 months ago just to give us that cloud base the flexibility that you know the staff can work from home um, again I've got staff that drop off kids at school and you know they might come a little bit later so again they can work from wherever I mean I was I was on the Gold Coast last week and I was doing my receding every morning on my iPad, you know, at breakfast. Um, I did, um, in July, I was in Europe and I did my end of month from Greece, you know, so. Yeah, it's wonderful. Those things couldn't happen in the old days. So, you know, I remember doing the old receding and manual yeah. ledgers and going to the bank and, you know, going to the local council and paying, you know, 100 council rates things like that. So technology is, it's a revolutionized. Yeah, it's industry. really good to step back and remember some of those times too, you know, going to the bank at the end of a trading day and, and uh, dropping off a big bag, uh, you know, of money. I mean, things have changed so much and it's, it's all happened fairly quickly too. Can I ask you about another aspect of technology and that's artificial intelligence. Are you, are you looking at that? Is that going to play a part in your business? Do you feel? Look, I'm a very, um, you know, hands on. I mean, I like we like the personal touch. I know a lot of people are going offshore and things like that. Um, you know, about me, it's all about you know human relationships, ringing, talking to them, having a good relationship with our clients. Uh, you know, with, with the technology these days, it's it, it's made our job so much easier. So, you know, the property managers have got spare time now to ring landlords, talk to them, 
ask them where they're going. Are they looking at buying something else? Have they got any other properties? Things like that. But I've, look, I've had a, a small business for a long time. I've always employed local people. Uh, I like to keep the money in the country, you know, so if I'm paying wages to somebody, that money's staying in this country. Uh, that, that's just my, yeah. you know, my, my take on it. So, what, what about social media, Kerry? Can we talk about that? Do, do, are you involved in that? Is, is your team active on social media? Yeah, we're not we're not huge on it. We're not huge on it. Um, we have started a little bit. Um, we do a little bit of on Instagram, um, but in saying that, again, we you know we it's it's all about the, the the personal touch. You know, I mean, when people go and brag about themselves and social media and all the rest of it, unless you you know you can show that to your clients the actual results, what you're actually doing. Um, yeah, look, it's something that you know maybe we might look at increasing in the in the new year or something but you know most of our business comes from referrals mm. that's that's how we, we we organically grow our rent roll we, we've never we've never bought a rent roll so it's just just a matter of you know referrals good service and you'll get the business what about tech for you personally is there any piece of tech because i know when we we're setting this up you were talking about your iphone your ipad is there any piece of tech you couldn't be without Look, I know my daughters can't be without their, their, their iPhones, um, but uh, yeah, look, the, the iPhone, the iPad, like I said, I didn't end the month, you know, in Greece. Yeah. No problems, you know, it ran smoothly, took five, 10 minutes, it was all done. But I mean, all, all this technology we've got now, you know, with Property Tree and, you know, Inspection Manager and Flick It Over, everything's so easy now. So, yeah. but with the phone, you know, I can do everything on my iPhone. So. I can see where we're up to. I can look at my arrears on my iPhone. You know. So, yeah, look, I think the iPhone, the iPad, you know, I love those. I love those. So, Kerry, I don't think yeah. I could live without it. Yeah, good on you, mate. Hey, last question for you. Who inspires you, mate? Who who keeps you motivated? What do you... Oh, I think my daughters. Um, <laughs> well, they, they probably keep you poor, do they? Yeah, look, you know, I'm hoping one day that uh, they might come into the business. Um, um, at this stage, a little bit younger, but, uh, yeah... Maybe they can start some Saturday work. But look, no one in particular. I've got a really good bunch of friends, um, some very, really, really good colleagues that, you know, um, yeah, just in general, my parents, my parents inspire me. You know, they've, they've had a good, um, a good run in life. So, mm -hmm. but um, in general, just uh, my, a really good bunch of friends. And, and yeah. you know, I've got good, good, good staff. And, That's you know, way. just seeing them do the work every day uh, just makes my life so easy. Kerry Hatsianessis has been my guest. Kerry is from uh, Century 21. Kerry, thanks so much for your time, my friend. All the best and I uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin.